All right, so. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to. Is there a way to tweet this easily? Yeah, share. Okay, so go. You're so silly. Okay, so we're live streaming here. Live chat. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So welcome back. And this is something I've been wanting to try someday is carbonating iced coffee because I like carbonated beverages, but what I don't like is Not <laughs> what I don't like is a lot of fruit carbonated beverages. I don't hate them, but I want something like another option. So <clears throat> today I've got two different I want to start with good coffee. So I've got Starbucks black unsweetened. And now this is, you know, a good coffee. I think it's pretty decent, you know, tastes great. Um, it's not like the world's greatest, but it's a good start. And then just some regular dark roast as well. Um, it's it's chock full of nuts, New York roast, but you know. <laughs> and then what we have here too, um, two club soda bottles, which still have a little club soda in them. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when I when I opened it, first all over me. <laughs> Alright, so um, you know what I'm gonna do with this first. Because these don't they don't have so uh, calcium carbonate in them. So I'm gonna just dump these out real quickly. I'll be right back. And it got me. Huh? I'll get you too. Oh, <laughs> Why are they so car so crazy? I don't know. I'm soaked. Was it a bumpy ride home? I guess. Holy moly. That was just a little bit wet. Mm. Mm. Alright, we'll just start with the small ones first here. Let's see if there's any uh, chitter chatter. Okay, no chitter chatter. Okay. All right, so what I have here, first we're gonna start off with, here's a five gallon tank of carbon dioxide, which I just had filled today. I've got a regulator attached, I got off of Amazon. Um, and it's set for 30 PSI. The um, input pressure is oh, about 750 pounds right now. Um, and this has a special fitting on it, which allows me to attach something like this and this will allow me to refill a PEG bottle. PEG is the, what these material bottles are made out of. So I can put this on and, and recarbonate it. I have this metal one, and then this one has actually has a, a fitting on it that you can put a hose so you can fill from the bottle bottom. But right now we're just gonna use it just like that. And then we've got, doesn't that have a rubber seal? Maybe it doesn't lose one. This will be interesting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So first we're gonna start off with just the regular Starbucks cold brew iced coffee. Now, to carbonate, you need to have something that's cold to begin with. So we're gonna make this first. We'll make that one. Actually, this is the, I want the ice, the, um, the cold brew. I also have some, um, erythritol here, which is a sugar alcohol, which does not affect your blood sugar when you drink it. So it's actually pretty good. Um, so I'm going to try sweetening it a little bit too. Now I don't have a funnel, so we're going to use a, um, a measuring cup to do it. <laughs> so it's pretty simple how you do this. First, you have a really hard time taking the foil off. And I think that's, let me use this. This is gonna be messy, I'm sure. Okay. Now what 
I think we'll do for a comparison is to take one of these bottles that's already carbonated. It smells like beef jerky. <laughs> that sounds great. It smells good. Okay, so I'm going to fill it about the same. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have done this before, but this will apparently produce better results than like a soda, soda stream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got this. We're gonna put, we're gonna try this plastic cap first. This is the same stuff that you get all the time in those chubby little bottles? Yes, the little chugs. They never smelled like beef jerky before. Okay, so we've got, oh, I did the wrong thing. I don't think it matters, but um, we're squeeze the air out. It just doesn't look like it's on square, does it? It sure does not. I think the metal one's nicer. But let's try it again. Something's wrong here. I'm just thinking when you do this, it's going to explode all over me. Why don't you just when we go to do a step back? Okay. I'm using the metal one. Was junk. Before you told me not to step back, don't worry. Oh, I was talking about just the. I'm just talking about the tank. I'm talking about this. This of course can make a crazy mess. Yeah, this one's a million times better. Okay. So now we've got this cap on. Let's see, can you guys see? All right. So we've got this on here. The regulator set. Okay. No chat. Okay. All right. So all we're going to do here is now attach this like this, and then when we turn this on, it should pressurize to 30 pounds. Go around the wall. Okay. So now it's pressurized. You're supposed to shake it. Why? To help the um, carbon dioxide dissolve. You can see more. More air is going in right now as I'm doing this. It's dissolving more and more. See the air is coming in? Yes. Why does it say zero pounds right now? Um, let's check this off. Oh, no. That's on. Could you make this not fall? Hold that. Apparently, I didn't have that set right. Okay. It's not set again. There we go. Some more air in there. It's staying steady, so I probably just didn't set it quite right. So look, so there's air going in right now, and there's carbon dioxide. I should say we're dissolving it in. Hey, you want to get us a glass? A clear glass of some sort would be fine. Like that single cut one would be just great. So I think it's still on the counter. I'm just going to dissolve as much as we can into this. Okay. Still more going in. You can see right here. Now, carbon dioxide will not dissolve into warm. Ah, some more going in. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay. I'm just interested to see what this tastes like. Now, you're saying this... Um, it smells great. But then it smells good to me. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells really good, like beef jerky. 
But then um, I tasted it. It smelled like toilet. I mean, it tasted like toilet. Mm -hmm. Did you drink it right from the bottle? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I ruin it with my germs. Well, you're not supposed to do it, so that's like, we'll just use this one for the rest. I'm sorry. Well, it's just because it's, it, when you're bottling, you don't want to have anything. It has to be sanitized. Of course I bought you coffee. I paid coffee now. What did I buy you last night? Coffee. Can I go up and get it and drink it? <laughs> Is that just air going into that? Right, I think we're done for now. Right, so now we're going to take the cap off. We'll turn this off first. Okay. You excited to try it? Yes. <coughs> you sound like a deer in headlights. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous. No, I'm not nervous. Okay. All right, so here we go. Carbonated iced coffee. Now, it will get more carbonated the more longer you let it sit. But I want to try it now in this video. There we go. It doesn't seem all that carbonated, does it? It's carbonated. You want to try it first? <laughs> does it change the flavor? Does it, does it taste carbonated? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's good. It's unique. Um, so that is unsweetened. Let's try a little erythritol. Erythritol. <laughs> so. Um, you get a spoon? No, let me just do this. Close that for this. So let's see, I've got about... Um, an eighth of a cup here, maybe. That's way too much for that amount. I'm not gonna put it all in. Because I would think like a tablespoon would be good for that filled. You know, an eighth cup is two tablespoons. I'm gonna I'm gonna put more coffee in. You understand, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just so I'm, saying just how much would be a good amount. But the thing is, erythritol is less sweet than coffee. traditional sugar. Yeah, sugar. But yeah. seventy percent. It's like seventy percent as sweet as sugar. But you know, I don't like things very sweet, so it sounds good to me. Just do a one, one to one exchange. Guess we don't care here. Yeah, my feel, you know. <laughs> Chicken, chicken. All right, I'm gonna change the pressure to this because I feel as though I've had more pressure. And don't worry, I'm not gonna change it that much. People go 
up to 40. I'm going to go 35. This is a nice heavy, these bottles are smaller and they're nice and heavy, so. Okay. So it's um, squirting the CO2 into that, yes. and you're just trying to do, doing that so it'll displace it, kind of like. It's, the CO2 has to dissolve into the water that's in here. So by um, shaking it, it dissolves. Because uh -huh. it, it's like, you know, it won't compress into it. It's like because the liquid is not compressible, right? So it just has to... It has to dissolve. You have to like... Yeah. It actually dissolves into... CO2 the... dissolves. Yes, but it has to be cold. If it's warm, it won't dissolve. <clears throat> That's uh, why... Okay. Yeah, because it's like the reverse of dissolving liquid... Um, dissolving solids into liquids. There, it requires it to be hot, whereas mm -hmm. with CO2 it needs to be cold. It needs to be between 30 and th 32 and 42 or something degrees. So I'm thinking that it's like the little bubbles are being forced into it, and they're not. They won't. You can't force them into the liquid. You have to kind of shake it to get them to wiggle in there. But they're not in. They're not in bubble form. It's just mm -hmm. the gas. Hey, it's Knuckles and Slayer. Unique New York, unique New York. I don't know what that means there. But Knuckles is here, our friend. Yay, Knuckles, but it's probably the New York roast uh, chock full of nuts. Oh, yes. Yes, chock full of nuts. Yes, heavenly coffee. I've got erythritol over my shirt. Right. So I'm gonna do one that like sits overnight, but for this one I just want to try it. So we're gonna shut off the air here, the CO2 there, disconnect this. You want you finish that off? I'll help finish it if you can. I just don't want to finish it. Do you dislike it? That's, please tell me. I don't dislike it. I just don't want to drink that much coffee at night. <sighs> yeah, it really grew on me. That's really good. Yeah, I love my sick of me. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fantastic. Okay, here we go with this one now. This is the sweetened with erythritol. The sweetened with erythritol, lass. <laughs> we gotta do that again. <laughs> Much more fuzzy. Yes. Okay. Princess? It's kind of like um, when coffee has sugar in it, it's more frothy. Mm -hmm. Do you have your phone on you? Yes, I do. Yeah, let's take a picture of that because that looks pretty cool. Right now, before I... Yeah, I want to get a picture. So. <clears throat> oh. Can't use my finger on your thing. What? Oh. Okay, good. Yep. Go ahead. That looks like cola. It tastes like cola. It does? It tastes like cola? Yeah. Mmm, I mean, it's got a serious aftertaste of coffee. It's good. Mm. Yeah, that's but good. It took that long for it to get to me. Just so you can see it there, that's that's pretty awesome right there. Now, this, I could see people buying this. Yeah, and it's like, it's not like, you know, I wasn't very impressed with the first one. It was okay. But in this one, it's not that it's really sweet, but there's just something more about the taste that's just... Mm. Nicer, and you see, I could taste the coffee. The other one, I couldn't even taste coffee. I couldn't taste anything. It just tasted like flat, unflavored cola. I don't know. Well, it wasn't as. I don't think I carbon. I I cranked it up the carbonation. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't as, as carbonated. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. This, mm. like, if you used a a water bottle, like those little water bottles, and try to do it, this would not be a good idea. You know, to go this high. Mm. 
What's really interesting is it has this, first it just tastes like cola, and then, um, and um, I don't know, then, I, then I experienced the carbonation burning. But then at some point I get the, um, the, the, the coffee taste and it comes quite a bit afterwards. It's really good. So I want to do this with some tea as well. And I'm wondering, you know, because you can't have partic particles in it for it to work, um, if I do matcha tea, I'm going to have to filter it first, filter out all the leaves. But I think the idea mm, it's to, really good. Mm, it's, good it's, it's like it's like a good five seconds after I um, take the first sip when that coffee taste really hits me. It's really good. I want to see if I get the same experience with the unsweetened, unswerved. What's that, just another um, very carbonated one? I just put more carbon dioxide in it. Higher pressure. Yeah, 40 pounds is fine. Or onion juice, garlic. So is that all it takes to just quickly put the cap on? There's no for at home stuff. No, I don't know. No, I mean this is like I think you're supposed to leave this cap on, but I'm going to use it. So. Oh. You know what I'm saying? This cap. You're gonna leave this, or you can try this. this is this to stay overnight, or you? You can try it right now. You can drink it right out of the bottle. I don't care. It's all good. I'm just annoyed with this particular cap. That was a that was a waste. This metal one is actually cheaper too. Mm -hmm. Where was that online, or was that? Both stuff? of these are Amazon. Give it a try. Yeah. I'm gonna try it without any liquid in it first. They were saying they were having. I think this is gonna this is gonna leak like crazy. Mm. In my tasting water, the seal doesn't have a taste. <laughs> yeah, this thing's this cap's garbage. Mm. Well. Don't get the carbo cap. It's junk. You got it. I'm glad I did it with an empty bottle. weird. It's the same as that stuff. It's more yeah. carbonated. Is it just carbonation? Mm -hmm. It had a weird taste, like plasticky, like mm -hmm. too much like a CO2 taste. Does CO2 have a taste? Uh, overly like carbonated breath. things people can, some people can distinguish. Mm -hmm. I was reading about people who uh, like are beer tasters and such. Alright, so I think the erythritol is a good addition. Would you agree with that? Yeah. You know, I, you said that you wanted to try other things like tea, but remember that um, erythritol lemonade I made? Carbon like that. That would be good. So this is now empty? Yep, good. Alright, so. Let's start with this dark roast. Regular, got an empty bottle there. So, would you put about the same amount of um, erythritol in that? This is, let's just get the size of the bottle. Right. Oh, I must have had coffee in the thing. This is 16 ounces, 16.9. 16 ounces is two cups. And, um, why don't we put it directly in this and you want to go grab something to stir it with? 
You said that eight cup. Mm -hmm. Get the wire whisk. That'd be great. A little wire whisk you have. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have in the chat. Let's see here. Okay, I get it. So that unique, you're, I understand what you're saying there. I wish this chat would stay up. You've had two, Damien, you've had two single, oh, the 18 watt is really good. The Billy Full Stack is my favorite um, single cut beer, but all their beers are great. Okay, it's like almost already dissolved itself into the coffee. Yeah, the powdered earth will call it really yeah. Right. Okay, that looked right. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour it into here. This should just be just the right amount too, because it's 16 ounces. Close. So I need a little bit more next time, I think. But this will be just fine for this. Give it a little shake first. All right. Um, did I get? Let me see the instructions here. I wish I knew which way was open, but I can't tell now. I think that's open. That's straight down. Just shake this in here. Let's see. Ah, hey, Tim, how's it going? So basically what I'm doing here, so guys who haven't been watching, is I've got a carbonation, i got a CO2 tank here with a regulator, and I'm carbonating uh, Starbucks coffee, iced coffee. The first time, first time we did it was their cold brew, which is my favorite of their iced coffees, and I'm also doing just their straight-up dark roast, which is not cold brew. And yeah, that's, the, that's that there, but I've added some uncarbonated into it, so I'm going to have to recarbonate that when we're done. So I'm dissolving the CO2 into the bottle. And if you guys want to do this yourself, it's actually pretty cheap. So um, the tank was $42 with 20. The, most, the, the one thing is the tank was on Amazon was $42 with $20 shipping. Um, there was one that was prime, but it was $68. So that ended up being more overall. So that was about, this was like, you know, $62 with shipping. Um, the regulator was... $14? I can't remember. Um, check my wife's Amazon app. You have the app on here, right? Yes. Okay. Oops, that's the thing. Um, would you just bring it up? Look at the past purchases. So I think it was like, I don't know, 20 or $14. So that was the regulator. And then this hose here with the fitting was another 20. Well, all said and done, I, with shipping, it was like $120 for this. Um, let's see the regulator. Um, I don't see the whole full. Okay, so this Carba cap here was $13.57. Don't buy this. The regulator was $42.99. The hose was $12.99. This stainless cap was ten ninety nine. I'm gonna buy another one of these. I'm gonna return this carbon cap. It's garbage. Um, and then the tank was, and then the tank. I went to my local um, like beverage center, and they filled the tank. It was uh, five dollars, three dollars a gallon, three dollars a gallon or three dollars a pound. I can't remember if it's gallons or pounds. Um, and um, so it ended up costing me fifteen dollars to fill the tank, and that should last me a really long time. Uh, to do, let's see here. Okay. 
So you had softly spoken magic spells. Okay, that one's a good too. Um, and actually, I've got some ones right here right now. You want to just uh, gently shake that while I go grab some of the single cuts I've got right here? Just since we're talking about it. Maybe. Okay, since we're talking beer. So this is uh, Kim. And this is a um, hibiscus and black currant um, sour lager. Uh, this is Billy um, Full Stack Double IPA. Um, this is double dry hopped. This is actually a year old. I bought this. Went down to Queens and bought this. Um, so it's probably still fine. It's just going to be a little weaker. Um, I actually like the regular slightly better than the double dry hopped. It's still really good. But just the, the traditional one was my favorite. And here's the 18 watt right here. That's what I've got on me right now. The 18 watt and the Kim are recent brews. Put these back. And then besides those, I have these. These have been holding on to and aging them. This is the uh, Heavy Boots of Lead Imperial Stout. And this was brewed, it says 3-2. I don't know what year it was. This has got to be oh, at least a year, well, over a year old on this one. It's probably closer to two. And this uh, More Cow Bell, this one says 12-27. This is probably around the same age. These are going to be two years old soon. Right there. How long are you aging them? Uh, I don't really, I'm not a big stout person. Like, I'm never, I don't dislike stout, but I'm never in the mood for stout. So, they just kind of sit around. But they're good. They can age. So, I don't feel the pressure to drink them right away. And I've also got this one. This is not a single cut. This one here is from 2015? Wow. No, 2016. This is, uh, got this out in Massachusetts. This is a Rockingham Brewing Company. Belly of the Beast, Barrel Aged Maple Glazed Imperial Bacon Stout. 10% alcohol by volume. This is right there. See, 51116. So, this one is two years old. A little over two. Almost two and a half. Oh, Dave, you're going to New York City? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, talk to the, the girl on twi uh, Twitter, um, telling you're going because she can kind of tell you what to get and what's going to be there and tell you a good time to come there. Um, I forget what her name is, but she's hooked me up with T-shirts and stuff like that. But she's pretty nice. When I was there, she was not there, so. All right, so here we go. This is just like flat now. Has it gone flat? Well, I added, I added uncarbonated stuff to it. Yeah, well, so it's gross now. Carbonation station. And I've got my backpack right back station. Well, uh, no, I need to just have this like mounted somewhere so it won't, I don't want this. This is, I don't want falling and breaking the valve on it. 
<clears throat> Here, finish this up. That's yeah, still carbonated, so. up. We'll drink it first. I'll drink it. I, it's just too similar to soda, cola. I just have an aversion to that. Yeah, but there's nothing. I just don't like the taste of it though. I mean, I like the taste of that. It's okay, but it's just way too uh, cola-y for me right now and kind of late for coffee, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to be up like a maniac later, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Let's get a picture of this one too. A what? A picture. Or a picture of it. <laughs> Either. It's like two fingers. Yeah. There we go right there. Carbonated <laughs> iced coffee with sweetened with erythritol. Nice thing about this is erythritol is the only sugar alcohol which does not raise your blood sugar when you drink it. And you do not, you do, you don't um, metabolize it either. Uh -huh. It just goes right through you. Go and, right through you. <laughs> and, um, and it has that cooling sensation, which doesn't bother me ever. I just like that. Mm. But this is cold anyway, so it, you don't even notice it if it is even there. So, mm -hmm. Right? Yep. I think I like the other coffee better. What do you think? Like this being the other coffee? Mm -hmm. I guess I'd have to have a taste test side by side because this one tastes fine. Yeah, but it and does have good. kind of a funny. Let's recarbonate this one. This one has a little bit of an old barn taste to me. <laughs> Dusty old barn. I think you're just. Are you gonna say cat pee next? Like. Well, one of them did have the, you know, the one that started out like. Um, I just need to make sure I close that valve. Um, what, the one that started out like uh, beef jerky, and then the next time I tried it, it was like toilet. <laughs> what well, smelled like beef jerky tasted like toilet. And so then when I smelled it next, it just wouldn't stop smelling like, you know, yeah, pee. Hilarious. But not cat pee, more like young male child pee. That's my... <laughs> Oh, so, you know. uh, let's see. When this, <laughs> what? I wish I could see this chat while it's happening. I have to go over here and say it. it top sp top spot one two three said when this thing hits eighty eight psi, you're gonna see some serious shit. Why? It's Back to the Future quote. Oh, that's because of the original. Sometimes it goes right through you. <laughs> it doesn't do that to me. Oops. Well, you didn't drink as much of it as... The little guy? The little guy did. <laughs> that poor kid. I had a lot. It doesn't bother me. Well, good. It doesn't bother me either. What's going on up there? Uh, craziness. Okay, we got that one. All right. All right then. What's so funny? I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering what's going to happen when it hits 80 psi. You see serious shit. <laughs> You just gotta, I have to buy more of these caps. And then you're supposed to keep, so it's gonna be like $10 caps. So you'll, you're gonna have a collection. Of like Until I figure out some other way of doing this. I've been trying to find, like, I, you know, I wanna find out how they do it in the bottling factory. The, the thing is, I watched a video of a bottling factory and the bottles come in. Is that in, episode of Laverne and Shirley? The bottles come along on a conveyor 
and there's like a little, there's little two straws that get come up into the straws. It fills it with a liquid. Then it, then it comes off of the thing that's filled with liquid. Then it goes off into this thing, which turns them upside down. Run and Shirley. Upside down, they come back down, they're, they're closed. And I don't know how, it, if it's like going around the entire cap, like around it, and then pressurizes it, and then tightens the cap down. Um, or if, I don't know if you ever noticed, like a cap has this little rubber seal on the end. No, this one doesn't have that, so scratch that. Remember they used to have little rubber things on the inside? Oh. Remember uh, bottles used to have those little rubber fittings? Okay, so this one is 33 fluid ounces. This container is... But in the meantime, you could do the quick exchange. You know, because you know how you can open a, a bottle of cola and then if you quickly put the cap back on, it's still carbonated and they'll even do the next time you open it. So at least we can do that in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, like a, this is what I'm going to take to work tomorrow. We should run a spoon. For what, for this? Yeah. This is 32 ounces, so... Artificial ounces. Did you know that um, fruit flies, this will kill them? Hmm. Because you know, they pretty much live off of sugar. And bacteria cannot metabolize yeah. erythritol and xylitol as well. So it doesn't do anything to your teeth. That's right. Actually, and xylitol makes your bones stronger, apparently. Hmm. But xylitol is a little um, rougher on your insides. Than hmm. That's the one that'll kill dogs. I don't know about that. Okay. No, I don't think it does. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they say that, that about chocolate, and our dogs eat chocolate. <laughs> yeah, but we made, remember we gave them, um, we told us to give the dogs uh, hydroxide, <laughs> and they would put them in the top <laughs> of our. <laughs> 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 but my, um, an ex, an employer of mine, um, her dog ate a whole, one of those big, gigantic things of chocolate, a big, like, and died? No, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting story. <laughs> no, no. Just... Okay, the dog died. Is that more interesting? No. I'm just being silly. Yeah, I don't know. Why would you buy the granulated erythritol? This is so much better. Like, in any case, you always want it to dissolve in, so. Yeah. You, like, have to <clears throat> do so. like. Uh, sprinkle on top of donuts or something. It's going to need a little bit more here. It might be um, that you get a better unit price, weight more, but I don't know. Yes. Price is Would you please seal this? But anyway, you want to top it with uh, crystalline sugar and you want the granular. Excuse me. A little burpy. Mm -hmm. Squeeze out the gonna be extra. Look, it's all. Look at the little <laughs> fizzing. Yes. All right. You understood the universal. We close the valve, which I've been forgetting to do, mm -hmm. and we put the this on. That's fine. Let me open it. <laughs> you a black eye. No, <laughs> give you a black eye. That, that's what Virgil does. Yes, that's what. <laughs> How many memories of that? Right, take these, um, stuff. just set them to the side. No, just set them aside. This one smells like an old wooden barn. <coughs> and this one smells like stout uh, beer. But this is the one that originally smelled like um, beef jerky. Hmm. Let's see here. So. How long does it, so Damien says how long does actual carbonation take? So it does carbonate it within that period of time we were just doing, but they say if you let it, so basically if, you, if I leave this here, um, like I, I um, pressurize this, take it off the fitting and just put it in the fridge and just let it sit, it will continue to become more carbonated. So right now we're, we're at about um, 38 pounds of pressure. 
it smell? Does it smell different than it does when it's, you know? Well, it should it? because you know coffee is. I believe coffee is alkali, right? Right. See, we don't know. I forgot. No, we get, we get that paper. Just hey, Google. Is coffee alkaline or acidic? On the website trufistreason.net, they say. Coffee is an acidic beverage, having a pH of around 4, but in moderation, has been found to help prevent certain cancers and disease, along with having a detoxifying effect on blood. Ah, oh, damn, that's good. That's real good. It smells really good. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's so rich. It's like, almost like coffee. It's more, it's more like a chocolate soda. Yeah, but not bitter. Like, I would think of coffee, chocolatey coffee, and it is, like when you get ground coffee that, that's flavored, roasted with the chocolate in it, it's so mm -hmm. bitter, but this is not at all. Okay, so Damien says, how long does the carbonation take? And I said, so basically it only takes a few minutes to carbonate it, but the longer you let it sit, the more the CO2 dissolves into the water. Um, and if I let it, and it's, if it's in the refrigerator, it's gonna do it even more so. Um, because you, know, you want it to be cold, it has to be cold to really carbonate. Um, okay, so that was that one. And uh, Top Spot 123 says, Shamil, Shamil Hassenpfeffer Incorporated. Of course, we know that. Yes. Shamil Schmeigel, right? Something like that. He said, watch it. And then Davey says, I can't remember the name of the product was called, but you can make your own soda at home. Yes, the Soda Stream. Um, and I, I decided to not get a, um, to not get a soda stream um, because one, the tanks are twenty two dollars each. They're small. This and how many times? Does, how long? They don't last very long. I mean, they last. So before the soda stream, which soda stream has been around a long time in England, it's new to this country, um, and I think it's not in England anymore. Um, but it's been around a long time. But in the United States, back in, you know, the 20s and the 30s or whatever it was, a long time ago, in the 60s to, to even the 90s, because that's when we bought one for your dad um, at Williams and Sonoma, you get this thing called a soda siphon. And basically, that is just a aluminum bottle with a, a spot where you insert a CO2 cartridge like you'd use for um, a BB gun. But, well, with cream, use nitrous oxide. Mm -hmm. So... Um, the same kind of cylinder, but not, it's not a BB, but it's not a BB gun specifically. And I think the top might be slightly different, but, um, what did my father use it for? Why did we get that for him? Cause your dad liked mixed drinks and he can make seltzer with it. Did he use it? I used it a few times. I think I liked it more than he did. <laughs> Why did these dopes get this for me? Oh, I think he liked, no, he liked it. He was very appreciative of it. Maybe, you know, afterwards he was like, oh, kids. <laughs> What year was your dad born? 1924. 1924. Grew up in the Depression. Fought in World War II. Was he, what was his jobs that he had through the years? I mean, he, he studied entomology in college, right? Mm -hmm. As a degree in entomology, right? Uh, yes. And I uh, was in the ROTC, but did not want to join the Army, so he lied so he could get into the Navy. And why would he want to be in the Navy? Because the girls wore short skirts. <laughs> <laughs> and then he worked for Great American Tea Company, right? Atlantic and Pacific is that the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company? Does it, does yeah. Does tea company? Great yeah. American and Pacific, something like that. And, uh, Which is still around with a different name. Um, and he was making like uh, formulations of like. That? Like you make like Drug Oreo that. cookies, right? Like the well, yeah, yeah. He, they would uh, like make the store brand ones. Yeah, like go taste other foods, and then he was like a food scientist, and, yeah. and figure out what was in the food, and then make it for the competitor, something like yeah. that. And but he was, what is that drug that's to lower your blood pressure? It's so Coumadin. Yes. Yeah, so he he worked on Coumadin, right? Yeah. That prevents heart attacks. He worked for a blood chemical, thinner. He worked for a chemical company. Yeah. Yes, which is well, rat poison. He did that. That's why he did it because he worked for a pest control company. Yes. He didn't do it to help people not have. No, no. But it ended up being used <laughs> for that. Yeah. He, he had for... evil plans to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> and then was he? Did he have his own company too? Yes. 
And uh, his, and then uh, his own pest control company, right? Yes. And then he he also bred dogs. Mm -hmm. he got into him because of his first wife. He and he, you know, didn't wasn't really interested in it at all. But he just did because she was interested in dogs. And then he kept up with it and was and still he's, breeding dogs. And he's an AKC dog judge for many yeah, years. All around her. Traveled the world. He's been like to almost every country every in the country. planet. Certainly every state in the U.S. and then every country all over. Yeah, he's been China, Argentina, Australia. Thailand, Germany, yeah, Great Britain many Great, times. Yes, and, yeah. he's been everywhere. Poland. And he... South Africa, I think. Yep. Um, many times in South America. And what else? Uh, oh, and he bowled a perfect game in his 80s. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive, I have to say. He lived until 90. Yeah. And so, but that was that, that part there, so we're going to leave that there for a sec. I want to check the chat again. Um, yeah, why are you talking about her father? Because he was awesome. <laughs> he was but, awesome. So that's, you could make carbonated beverages with those too. And I was looking into that as well, but this is what I wanted to do so I could actually make large amounts. Why would the chat just stay up? So Damien says... That's why he drinks coffee every morning. Now he knows why. Huh? David said now he knows why he drinks coffee every morning. Not Ooh. sure. Why he drinks coffee every morning. Oh, why he himself I, I don't coffee. know what it is in reference to, though, unfortunately, oh. because we're yeah. long past that. You got to... Can't you put it on the TV so we would know what people are saying? You can't, like... The cast, chat... I could cast, cast but um, it wouldn't show the chat on the Chromecast. Mm. All right, so here we go. We've done this. Um, I'm going to try some other things out. I'm going to try matcha tea, but I'm going to have to, basically, I'm going to take matcha tea and let it sit for, like, a day or two. And I will certainly try that. I just don't imagine liking it very much. Mm -hmm. Well, I do like hot green tea, but I like it really, really strong. And, mm -hmm. and I want to do one which is coffee, cola extract, chocolate, and tea all together. Mm -hmm. All those together into one. Because I like to mix those things together. I've done that in alcoholic beverages, so. All right, so that's this one, and uh, I think we're done for tonight. Okay, so thanks, guys, for uh, watching if you watched, and uh, I had fun doing this, and I think it's actually a pretty good um, thing to try. I'll say, uh, Slayer says her dad sounds awesome. Well-rounded American hero. Yeah, he was. He was awesome, and he was in World War II. He fought... Um, injured, right, on the ship when it was yes. struck. Yep. Yeah. So he was he was quite the uh, lived quite a life there. He's a pretty awesome guy. I liked him a lot. Yeah. So did I. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, have a good night, and we'll have another video.